three. Yay. Back at it for another reaction video. Crap in my pants, sitting in the dark, don't like it. Bees over here making me do this again. Mm. You're the one who picked these videos. I know. You're right. I can't. Technically, I'm making him do it. Don't even. This ain't my fault this time. How's everybody doing today? Back for another reaction video. Who's this one by, V? This one. Doing a shoulder dance right now. <laughs> um, uh, this one's by Chills. The channel Chills. Uh, I've seen a few of his videos. He has some of the greatest, scariest videos on YouTube. Between him and Nukes Top 5, be my favorite uh, like ghost video channels on YouTube. Right up there. Um, Top. Can't get better. And then this one's called 12... 12... <laughs> Let's try again. 12 scary videos. Too, too scary to handle. Because I can't speak English today. Um, but yeah, so we're going to watch this 12 minutes. At least it's not a challenge. Last time we did 12 minute video, it was a challenge and it went horrible. It was pretty horrible. But this could be pretty just as horrible. Like, sitting in the dark. I don't like sitting in the dark. Ooh. Yeah. No. Okay, hit play. Let's just, let's just do this. Get into it. Okay, all right, fine. Ah, okay, go. Videos could be real and some of them not, but all of them have one thing in common. They are too Ooh. scary for you to handle. Probably? Number 12. A YouTuber named Baker X Derek <laughs> takes a break from biking to explore an abandoned house that's said to be haunted. At the top of a steep and cracked driveway is a backyard area littered with trash and a makeshift entrance kicked into the wall. It looks like a pretty normal abandoned house until a dark, narrow hallway makes him hesitant to explore further. Derek okay. forces himself to investigate the hallway and this weird spot of mysterious light Maybe a ghost is what he finds at the end of a dark room. There's nothing else for it to be, and no reason for it to be there. And yet mm -hmm. here the strange anomaly is. He doesn't see anything else until he goes to explore the equally dark and creepy basement. No. He stays yeah, close yeah, to the wall no. and doesn't go far into the room. Uh -huh. A wise choice based on what happens next. He is squinting into the darkness when something happens that's too scary for him to handle. Somebody. This is so loud. I think I hear something. Oh, dead. A scary noise right next to him sends him running back to his bike to peel away and never return. I don't. He just. He could not get up those stairs fast enough. Mm -mm. Watch as he goes up those stairs. Like he could not get up fast enough. He was stumbling, guaranteed. I don't think this was a skit because there was absolutely nobody else with him. He was exploring an abandoned house like, nope. all alone. Number 11. <laughs> this alleged ghost sighting caught on video is rumored to have been taken on a CCTV system overlooking a native reservation in Quebec City. At Ew. first, it looks more Ew. like bright light at the top of the screen than a person, but then it briefly takes the shape of a human as it passes through the courtyard, soon dematerializing into nothing more than an outline that flutters away. The 22nd mark is when you can see at the clearest, a possible ghost looking at the camera, one with long dark hair, a long dress, and a spidery arm that almost touches the ground. Number 10. Yeah, I don't know. A man works at a haunted building where footsteps, moans, and other ghost noises are fairly commonplace. One night he is the last to leave. He hears some ghost noises throughout the empty building and gets on Snapchat to document the encounter for paranormal evidence. All of the rooms look mm. empty until he turns around and sees a ghost in the hallway that he was just in. A ghost behind the window of a locked office to be exact, or so he claims. He runs out of the building before he can get another look, but as far as I can tell, that looks like somebody has their back turned and their hood up to me, not a shadow figure or a ghost. Assuming this is not scripted, then maybe it's an intruder who's after expensive office equipment, or even someone who has been secretly living here. 
Number 9. Yeah, that could just be a this person. This eerie video was taken in 2008 when YouTube was new and asking someone what they were doing was considered interesting content. What was that? That's exactly what this video appears to be and nothing more. That is, until you look a bit closer. Hello. What are you doing? What? TV. Oh, what they they claim is a ghostly apparition appears in their window and glides past. It's Herp. pitch black outside and yet somehow the outline of a mysterious figure is visible. Mm. If they live in the city, then this could just be someone walking down the street for all we know. But if they had a private yard in a quiet neighborhood, then yeah, this is a really creepy video. Number 8. Olga is- Okay, hold well, on, let's pause. I just want to like, acknowledge the fact that he said when- YouTube was new back in 2008. Um, asking someone what they were doing was interesting content. Now you got people like doing like crazy edits in their video and putting in so much time. But back then, you just just hit record and was like, "What are you doing? I'm watching TV." Million views. <laughs> right? Times were simple. <laughs> you know what that's called, sir? What? Content. Yeah, it is. ...is waiting to be wheeled into the operation room when she sees something that makes her think she's in a haunted hospital, a claim which she can back up with paranormal evidence caught on her phone camera. Her cup of water is moving all by itself like a ghost pushes it, or as she suspects, possibly her guardian angel. I don't know about you, but I would take no comfort in a cup moving all by itself I mean, why would you moments before getting it's an surgery. Angel? Anyway, I've seen videos where a cup moves by itself after the bottom of the glass gets wet through condensation. However, there are no water droplets on the outside of the glass to indicate condensation has occurred here. Nor is there a trail of water behind the cup. Her table oh. looks dry to me. And for this reason, I agree something paranormal could be pushing the cup. Number oh, seven. A YouTuber named Marcus Green and his friend Sarah a go duck. exploring abandoned houses near the woods, completely Why? unaware that their parents. Why did people do that? Let's go. Why does that even conversation come up? Like, I just don't understand. Let's go explore something abandoned in the middle of the woods. Do people not watch horror movies or like, like that is where you die. That is how you get shanked. That is how you get eaten. That is, that is just, No. Nothing about that seems fun to me. Can't see me, but I'm shaking my head. I'm agree. No. No. Normal investigation <laughs> is about to go wrong. Through the window, they find this kid's duck toy has been left here all by itself. Its back is a little burnt. They also find an abandoned nursery home with an old crib and a floor full of abandoned possessions. There's one room left to explore, but apparently that's when a ghost lets Marcus know that this area of the abandoned house is off limits. If anyone's fallen, it's me. Actually, I take that back. Oh. What? Why did that just stop? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! They've been laughing and joking this entire time, so Sarah doesn't entirely believe him when Marcus tells her that the door won't open again. It only opens halfway like someone is pressing against the other side, and at 6 minutes and 14 seconds the door actually starts to push back closed and he runs. He's nowhere near the door when it happens. And if it was furniture blocking the other side, then that doesn't explain why the door stops for a moment before closing. Number six. Yeah. A man That's thinks he has caught a ghost on camera. Well, like it fully stopped. Like even if someone was on the other side pushing it, like if it was a homeless person or something, it would have started to come back immediately. Like that stopped first and then started closing. Yeah, that was weird. Nope, I would have ran so fast. I would have tripped, fell, guaranteed. Oh. While recording the steps of his haunted home. Watch closely and you'll see a strange shadow moving from one door to the other before vanishing. The shadowy figure is too dark to be dust and almost looks like feet walking across the carpet. When the man goes downstairs to investigate, he finds nothing is there and maybe nothing ever was. 
Number like five. Ghost of a puppy. This 2011 yeah. video was taken on a regular phone camera in India. It's six in the morning and this alleyway is always empty. Yet a mysterious shadow keeps moving past the front door. To make this creepy. video even creepier, a crow calls out to no one the whole time. I was thinking the shadow could have been the crow from above, but it doesn't look like the shape of a bird's. Crows tend to cry out when something they don't like is near, which this one definitely seems to be doing. At 1 minute and 6 seconds, it looks like the shadow figure reaches down to try and test the locks. Tell me what you think is going on here, because I think, ghost or otherwise, something is definitely trying to find its way in. That's Number crazy. 4. Mm. Phil LaJoya decides to take on the Candyman challenge based on the 90s horror flick of the same name. You're supposed Why? to recite his name three times in a row and then you will have a sighting of him. The man with a hook for a hand, usually in the mirror, as the legend goes... Candyman? Candyman? Candyman. That is not. It's too dark for Phil to have a sighting, but the drawer does open while he is standing completely still. And it's followed by two more scary banging noises, a sign that Candyman is near. Something about his home feels different now, a change in air pressure, like a presence is now with him. He goes outside and three ghost orbs follow him. Let's see here. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? An orb appears every time he says hello. He doesn't really see anything else out of place, but he knows that something is near. So Phil creeps up on the mirror for one last look, and that's when he sees it. Oh, you guys see that go across my camera? Man. What the f it's hard to see, but play in slow motion and you'll see the shadowy figure of the Candyman looking at him through the mirror. He is standing behind Phil and is slightly shorter. Then again, this could just be Phil's own shadow cast behind him by the light in the mirror. Do you think this paranormal encounter is real? Or is this paranormal investigator likely afraid of their own shadow? To be fair- Dude. <laughs> I can't wait till this fucking video is over. I have never played any of those games in the mirror, those mirror games where you have to say people's names, and you know what, I made fun of you a few videos ago or about not saying the name on the Ouija board, and I'm not about to say those names in the mirrors, because no, just no, I, can't, I, I wouldn't do it, couldn't do it, nope, never, nope, yeah, I'm good, thank you. I just, I just can't wait till this video is over. I like the EBGBs. I live in an apartment building, and I'm just I'm hearing noises. I just I can't take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting in a basement right now. How do you think I feel? Oh god. In the dark. Though, if <sighs> I saw that shadow behind me, I wouldn't stay there either. Nope. Number Honestly, three. don't see the shadow. A kid making a funny face is overshadowed by a creepy figure levitating behind him with its head down. Yeah. This picture is actually seven years old and Reddit still argues about whether this is a ghost sighting or not. Plenty of people see a ghost girl wearing a gray dress who looks to be going into the next room. However, another theory is that a stuffed toy was being thrown behind the boy, and its movement through the air is what creates its strange motion blur. Another explanation is that this was a woman throwing her jacket on in the background. According to the uploader, this house is haunted and mysterious figures are seen here all of the time, along with scary noises and other strange happenings. With that said, I tend to believe this paranormal ex- Chills, my boy. Just show the fucking video already. <laughs> okay? Yeah, no. Here's why, alright? Is it- Okay. The thing in the background that it's trying to make the focus point doesn't seem creepy to me. The fact that this kid's like staring into your fucking soul. <laughs> it's just messing me He's up right watching. now. It's like Noah's eyes. For oh, the love of God, she'll show the video already.
<laughs> explanation the most because when you look under the figure you'll see they cast no reflection on the wood grain floor no. number two oh, no omar mens goes to an abandoned house for a paranormal investigation at 3 a.m there's no one else around for miles, but he and his friend are sure that I'm someone is in the house with them. They can sense it. Around the corner on the top floor, they eventually find two strangers in black robes bowing before a candle in a silent ritual. The two strange men are apparently so wrapped up in their supernatural summoning that they don't notice Omar spying until they accidentally make a noise and go running into the night. So here's the weird thing. At 12.50, Omar clearly shines his light directly into the room, but the evil is so thick that no light can pass through. What is going on here? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 Stumbled across this I eerie video on Reddit that I wanted to get your opinion on. Yo, what the f man? What the, what the f First, a phantom streak of light runs oh, parallel with this person's shoulder. Yeah. He goes to point it out to the camera, and then... This shit, what the f It briefly attaches itself to his finger and flies off. He tries to make it happen once more, but strangely, he cannot duplicate the light, which makes this a possible ghost sighting. And when you look at this image at 6 seconds, it kind of looks like a ghost with outstretched ethereal arms. Now that's just terrifying. If you are alone, be careful watching this video, because that means there's nobody nearby to hear your screams. Video like that, <laughs> right? Like now, I don't want to take my headphones off because, like, if I hear a scream or something, I swear to goodness, I'm gonna punch somebody. I'm gonna punch somebody. Get it? It's creepy, but it works, so I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. Video's got me looking around and shite. Right? Like, like, yeah, I'm sitting in the dark. <sighs> I got a little light going on over here, so y'all can see my face. But other than that, like. I handle it. I'm in the dark, like, <laughs> like it's it's like it's a little light, just, just a little light, but I know, I'm relatively in the dark, guys. Like, just I don't like doing these. Why do we keep doing these? I don't know. <laughs> Next time we react to a comedic show or something, Eddie Murphy delirious or raw or something. I know. Well. Regardless, it was a good video. There, you can always tell when it's a good video when you start freaking out in your own place, right? But uh, a lot of chills videos are like that. And the one with the kid, though, the kid, I didn't really <laughs> care about the thing in the background. The kid was creeping me out the most. <laughs> like I just, I couldn't. It was, it was staring into the camera. <laughs> I, I don't he's, he's watching you V. Always watching. I don't know what else to say about the video. It was a it was so good I'm creeped out. But if you guys like that video, make sure you click that little bell, like, comment, subscribe. We read every comment. Don't think we don't, cause we do. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye. I feel paralyzed